Hello and welcome again. The IB Biology exam for May 2024. Happening in about 10 days from today. Now, there has been a lot of talk about leakage of exams and things like that. From the very outset, I want to say that this YouTube channel is not associated with any such rumors or information or misinformation. What I can tell you though, is whether true or false, within the next 10 days, if there was in fact any leakage in the exam, the IBO is going to get its act together and students uh, taking the biology exam would have an exam where the integrity is certainly fully protected and not compromised in any way. So with that out of the way, let's get back to focus on this year's examination, which is happening in about 10 days from today, at least the first two papers out of the three year, happening on the 13th of May, Monday the 13th of May in the afternoon. You'll be sitting for paper one and for paper three. Paper one, multiple choice paper. Please remember you have to shade your answers off uh, in pencil and submit your answers on that answer sheet. In biology, students do tend to finish the exam fairly quickly. Uh, within the time given, uh, you, you might have some time to check over your work and make sure that you've, the answer that you have in your head is the answer that you've put down on the answer sheet. Once paper one is finished, uh, you move into the very important paper three. Paper three, of course, uh, deals with your option, but there is a section A which deals with practical work. Prior to paper three, you'll be given five minutes of reading time. And during that five minutes of reading time, it's very useful to look through the data that's presented usually in question one of section A and start analyzing the graphs and things like that. Last uh, November, the examiners gave some tips about how to approach the exam and I'm going to share those uh, in a short while. I just want to also mention to you that the following day in the morning, you'll have paper two, paper two, very, very important paper, 36% of the grade in HL, 40% in SL and each paper scored this way with this number of marks here. In section B, of course, you'll have to choose uh, two questions out of a choice of uh, four. And for SL, you'll have to choose one question. So in section A, you'll have some short answer questions, but it always begins with a data-based question. And that's important. It means you do want to get some rest because the data-based question usually comes in multiple parts. As I've said in previous tips, and I've been giving these tips way back since 2016 for this particular syllabus. As I've said in previous tips, the data-based question comes in chunks. You get a chunk of data, you get some questions based on that data. You get another chunk and you get some questions based on that second chunk. And finally, after all chunks of data have been shared, you'll get some questions only at the very end that pertain to the entire data set. And that little tip can go a long way in helping you. Also again, you get your five minutes of reading time. I recommend that you dedicate it to either reading through the database question carefully or selecting carefully which questions you want to attempt in section B. Now let's go in and take a closer look at some of the boundaries for this exam from last November and those tips that I mentioned from the exam. The November 2023 uh, subject report and here you can see the grade boundaries overall for higher level and standard level. A 7 at 77, a 4 down here at 36 percent for HL, 41 for SL and of course 27 for a three at standard level biology, which is something that could be worthwhile, especially at this at SL. Now, in the specific papers, of course, the IA always has a boundary set like this. But last uh, November, for paper one higher level, a five was fifty percent, twenty out of forty um, in SL. 5 was 60%, 18 out of 30 
in paper 2, a 5 in HL Biology was below, uh, below 50% of the score, which is 34 out of 72. A 7 was 54 out of 72. For standard level, for 21 out of a total of 50. In paper 3, a 5 in HL Biology was set at 23 and above. And for SL, a 3 in paper 3 was 9 out of 35. A 5, just about 50%, 18 out of 35. So like I mentioned, the examiners also gave some specific guidelines or exam techniques to, to follow for students in the future. And here, uh, as I mentioned, it's important to take advantage of your five-minute reading period, which you have in papers two and three. Um, organize all of your ideas clearly and think carefully about what you're going to put down on paper. When questions ask you to list two factors, for example, that affect the rate of photosynthesis, um, you can't list six factors and have the two correct answers as number five and six, because if you're told to list two factors, the first two will be scored. When analyzing data, students very often just uh, repeat values, but it's important instead of restating the value to point out the importance of that value. Of course, uh, marks that are given for a question indicate to you how much you should write for that question. Leaving answers blank, definitely not a good strategy. Always, of course, bring a ruler to the exam. I've shared tips in the past about how to use the ruler for magnification. In fact, uh, calculating things like magnification and all of the possible experiments that you can possibly get in section A of paper 3. I'm going to attach that playlist for section A of paper 3 um, to the comments section below this video. And of course, good luck to everyone in this year's examinations.